Have you ever wondered if viruses are living things? For decades, science has been revealing information about viruses, currently being considered as the smallest infections agents that exist. With the spread of the coronavirus, more and more doubts arise about the world of viruses. We will explain what you need to know about these microorganisms. We will also answer the curious question, are viruses considered living beings? What are viruses? Before answering the big question, let's briefly explain what a virus is. Virus comes from the Latin word virus, which means poison or toxic. Viruses are microorganisms, meaning that they are not visible to the human eye. We need to use specialized devices that amplify the power of resolution. Are viruses living beings? The answer is no. Viruses are not considered living beings. There are three reasons why we can affirm it's not. They cannot live and reproduce freely. They always need another organism that they infect in order to survive and reproduce their genetic material. They are not made up of cells, nor are they a cell, and every living being is made up of cells. They lack the vital functions that living beings need, such as food, respiration, and communication with the environment, as well as reproduction with the exchange of genetic material. This is why they are called life forms, but not living beings. How do viruses reproduce? The reproduction of viruses is much simpler than that of living beings. They simply inject their genetic information into the genome of a living being, which serves as a template. This creates new virus replicas exactly the same as the original. When it comes to reproduction, they can reproduce in two different ways. Lytic cycle of viruses. In this cycle, the parasited cell is destroyed. After using the cellular enzymatic machinery to reproduce, the virus ends up lysing the cell, that is, destroying it. So new viruses are released and spread quickly, with the aim of infecting new cells. Lysogenic cycle of viruses. In this case, the viruses do not break the host cell at first. They integrate their genome into the genome of the host cell and wait for it to reproduce to continue making copies of this virus. When they consider the development sufficient, they move on to the lytic cycle. Can viruses be prevented? If you are concerned about the current coronavirus, COVID-19, and want to know how to prevent it, the truth is that because it is a new virus, there is no known remedy or medical treatment that is truly affected in preventing or treating it. Despite this, there are many foods and plants that we eat to boost our immune system, helping it fight any virus that may enter our body. That's it for this Ecology Green video. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe for more videos to come. We'll see you next time.